Many things come to mind when you think of the Antwerp. That signature electronic rave hip hop sound, their countercultural irreverence to pop music, and of course, giving some of the most interesting interviews in modern music. However, what they are usually not seen as is visual artists, utilizing shock, narrative, and often the grotesque to satirically comment on society and the music industry, even unapologetically skewering Lady Gaga. That's because the Antwerp's true trademark is the characterization of ZEF, a countercultural movement that originated as a derogatory term for working class whites in South Africa and became an expression for Afrikaner self parody. Ninja comments that ZEF means you literally don't care what anyone else thinks of you, you represent yourself in music, in how you dress, in how you think, how you speak. Now, although the narrative in the cheekily named Fatty Boom Boom depicts a man dressed as Lady Gaga going through some horrific experiences, mostly to do with a prawn, the real star of the Fatty Boom Boom video was definitely the prawn star. The supplementary explosion of art and costume in all of their videos seem to be the true unsung heroes. That is what is so intriguing to me about the Antwerp's style, even eventually leading their video Zef side to be exhibited in the Guggenheim. Prior to their success as the Antwerp, vocalist Ninja, also known as Watkin Tudor Jones, fronted acts such as the original Evergreens, Max Normal TV, and the Constructus Corporation, displaying Ninja in a tidy suit. But how do you go from this to this? Enter Roger Ballen, an American photographer living in Johannesburg, South Africa. Roger Ballen is known for his unusual psychological explorations of humanity's shadow side, saying, Shadow is better than dark, because dark for a lot of people connotates evil, and I always say it's just the opposite. Roger Ballen created Shadow Chamber, a book that explored the underbelly of existence through photographs. Ambiguous images of people, animals, and objects posed in mysterious prison cell like rooms, blurring the boundaries between documentary photography and art. Roger recalls meeting Ninja and Yolandi in 2005. He says, When they saw my book Shadow Chamber, they told me they stopped everything they were doing and reinvented themselves as the Antwerp. Ninja and Yolandi, inspired by the subversive imagery of Roger Balland, asked if he would collaborate on a video for I Think You Freaky to which he agreed, and Roger even made a book of photographs depicting De Antwerp. This collaboration not only established De Antwerp's iconic style, but catapulted Roger Ballin's career with a massive younger audience. And as Yolandi hilariously says, Mr. Ballin is like the weirdest person I've ever met in my life. After their joint success with I Think You're Freaky, Roger and De Antwerp teamed up once more for the smash hit Fatty Boom Boom. But Roger wasn't the only helping hand. Ninja reached out to designer Alexander Wang, asking him to create an outfit for the voodoo room. Ninja wanted something dark, funky, and African. Alexander created stunning black human hair costumes for the piece that elevated the video to not only having a unique sound from the Antwerp, a shadowy societal remark from Roger Balland, but an avant-garde display of fashion that is rarely seen in music videos. Ninja mentions one of his favorite things about that music video was actually DJ Hightech's robe, DJ Hightech being the third member of the Antwerp. And although Ninja can be crass at times, I find this quote by him to be alarmingly innocent. He says, I painted all my favorite words on this robe, which are love, respect, hope, care, kindness, play, inspire, faith, peace, and joy. A quote like that seems to pleasantly undermine the normal hubris Ninja showcases, and the video utilizes South Africa as a backdrop. Most of their videos, if not all, read like a love letter to De Antwerp's home. Not the usual sprawling landscapes, but the people, real people they offer to join in each one of their projects. For as much criticism as they get, even being called a national embarrassment, I wonder why this side of De Antwerp isn't discussed more. Yolandi even mentions how they aren't ever truly comfortable making music videos in the United States. She says, Africa is definitely a big part of it. We had a problem when we came here. We couldn't shoot videos. We just couldn't do it. We were dying inside. I think for as strange as De Antwerp seems to be, I find their approach to art fascinating. It isn't just the music, it's the costumes, the parodies. At times it seems the whole thing is performance art. Even to the point that journalists and critics often ask if their creative output is a joke or a hoax. To which Ninja says it could be a blend of many things, documentary fiction or exaggerated experience. When asked if he was playing a character, Ninja responded, Ninja is, how can I say, 
like Superman is to Clark Kent. The only difference is I don't take off this fucking super suit. Sometimes to create art you have to do something bold, incendiary, ridiculous, because your best art will always be what speaks to you. And if you're the Antwoord, maybe what speaks to you is this. It's also possible that DJI Tech is actually, wait for it, brown star. And as far as what DeAntwood is striving towards with their increasingly novel approach to the medium, Ninja has this to say. People are unconscious, and you have to use your art as a shock machine to wake them up. Some people are too far gone. They'll just keep asking, is it real? Is it real? That's dwanky. That's a word we have in South Africa. Dwanky. It's like lame. Is it real? You have to be futuristic and carry on. You gotta be a good guide to help people get away from dull experience. If you enjoy these videos and want to support the channel, please consider becoming a patron. My videos will always be free and this is a great way to help me make them better for you. Check out my debut album, The Hollyhobs, on Spotify and Apple Music and click the like button, subscribe and notification bell because that is the best way to get notified when a new video is released. See you next time.